Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Friday! We are in October now, so happy Friday, October 4th. I have a few things, so let's get right to it. First of all, just want to remind all of our middle school scholars that we have a no phone use during school hour policy. And I want to make sure that it is crystal clear what your options are. Your phones must be turned off as soon as you walk onto campus. And you have two choices. Your phones can be stored in your backpack or in the pocket organizers that are provided throughout campus. Uh, having turned off phones on your person is not an option. Let me repeat, you may not have a phone on your person while you're here at school. Phones must be kept in backpack or in the pocket organizers uh, that are provided for you in all of your classrooms. Also, just a reminder, no AirPods are allowed. That means that you cannot walk onto campus with your AirPods. Saying that you're gonna take them off is not an option. No AirPods are allowed, so I should not see any AirPods at all as soon as you walk through that gate. Please, please make sure that your AirPods are out of sight. Otherwise, we will collect them and your parent will need to pick them up. There are no warnings. There are no next times. The first time we see you with an AirPod, they will be collected and your parents will need to pick them up. All right, let's talk about some good things happening at our school. Uh, we have some spirit days coming up very soon. You'll have a whole week of spirit day. We have some spirit days coming up, so let's make sure that we all understand how we can participate and enjoy our spirit days. We have pajama day, twin day, sports jersey day. So I wanna be really clear what a spirit day is and what it isn't. A spirit day is a time for you to enjoy what it is that we are celebrating. So if you are not celebrating the spirit day, the theme for that day, you are in uniform. Those are your two options. Spirit days do not mean free dress days. That's only on Fridays. So if it's Hawaiian day and you're wearing a Hawaiian dress or shirt, you are participating in spirit days. If you are not wearing anything Hawaiian, then you are in uniform. All right, we also have Halloween coming up for those of you who wanna participate in our Halloween contest. We have some great prizes as always. Just remember the rules, they've been the same since you've been in school and all middle school students have been in school at least five years. So if you are in doubt about your costume, please ask. You know, no gory costumes, uh, face makeup to a certain extent is allowed, but we do not allow full masks where we don't know who's on campus. It's not safe. And also, um, no thing, nothing that looks like a weapon. It doesn't matter if it's plastic and it looks like a toy, nothing that promotes weapons or looks like a violent uh, prop. Again, if in doubt, please ask but we absolutely will be having a costume contest on October 31st. Also wanna let you know that our shirts are in. We have a few shirts right here, and I know they're going to show the shirts on our morning announcements. Shirts are $5 donation, but if you don't have five bucks in your pocket, don't you worry. We purchased enough shirts so that all of you who want a shirt can get a shirt. We have a style for um, that has more of a cinched uh, waist, and a v-neck and we also have the traditional crew neck shirts the material is an upgraded material i'm sure you will enjoy this fit as well as the style shirts are available in 404 which means no more stickers and no more patches with the safety pin that is no longer needed for us to be in uniform however if you have a navy blue shirt or a gray shirt that you want to permanently attach 
a patch to, we are happy to do that for you. You can take the patch and take it to the cleaners or have your mom sew, or maybe you know how to sew, but as long as your patch is sewn on your blouse or shirt, you absolutely can wear it as a uniform shirt and it has to be in our colors. Again, lots of information. If you have any questions, come see me or go to 404. If you want a shirt that you really like to be part of the uniform, we will be happy to sew the patch for you as well. That's right. We're an all purpose service here. We do it all. So if you want to add a patch to your shirt, we will sew it for you in 404. Moving forward, starting on Monday, no stickers and no patches with safety pins will be considered being part of the uniform. And I hope you like the design. More designs are coming your way for us to comply with our uniform policy. Okay, for today we have two wins in our SMA uh, win jar. The winner at the end of the month will receive a $50 gift card to celebrate with their family or friends. And so I know that the person from last month already picked up their $50 gift card. So at the end of October, I will pick another winner. New month, new wins. And today we celebrate two students. One would like to remain anonymous, but he has all A's so far. And I want to recognize Rebecca Esquivel, who has also an A plus in her ELDC class. Way to go. Thank you for uploading your evidence. Your stars have been uh, um, added to the jar. And I forgot that the whole school wins when we fill up the jar. So today during Friday, I play music because we've had a great week and I take requests, by the way. And during the time when I am up there playing music, please come up and collect your prize, your celebration uh, that I am giving to every single student. That's right. Every single student will have a small token to celebrate. It is an otter pop that you can enjoy during your lunch while you're listening to music. Why are you all getting an otter pop? Because we filled up the SMA wins for the month of September. So today during lunch, come see me so that you can receive your free otter pop. Or if you want to give me a request, I will be playing music today during your lunchtime because we have had a wonderful week. Thank you so much for those of you who have shown me so much respect and empathy and thank you so much for those of you who are persevering and really changing the sma story that we are scholars we are here to learn and we are here to be better each and every day have a great weekend and i'll see you on monday